The line between native and web app development blurs by the day. Web apps regularly get performance and feature improvements. Due to the immense popularity of App Store and Google Play as distribution platforms, native apps have been the way to go for the past 10 years. Native mobile app development has clear advantages over PWA in some regards. Let's examine the main pros of native apps. Firstly, native apps are developed in regards to hardware-specific technical capacities, which means the application can make the most out of the device. As a result, native apps are usually more powerful and fast. Secondly, security and privacy are definite points for native apps, and as a developer, you have more options to build in security measures. The final benefit is the ability to distribute your app in the app stores. However, native apps do have their cons, especially when it comes to development costs and distribution tactics. The main con is the higher cost of development. You'd need to build a version for each platform. Though we mentioned App Store distribution as a benefit, it has some cons. For instance, there are harsh constraints that stores put on apps. If you've ever developed a native app and encountered some cons, go ahead and share them in the comments now. Now let's look at progressive web apps. PWA is a web page that uses features, similar to a mobile app. Providing the same user experience as a mobile application, PWA is accessible via a browser. Just like a mobile app, a PWA can send a push notification and be accessed offline. Basically, such an app has all typical mobile apps benefits, but uses a browser to deliver them. So why are progressive web apps better than native? Let's start with the cost of PWA development. In fact, PWA development is cheaper, simpler, and quicker. It's also easier to maintain and support. Application store limitations do not impair the development cycle. You can manage, enable, or disable any features. PWAs are fast to install and access without any intermediaries involved. Your app is available within one click distance, which significantly contributes to better customer retention. As for distribution, don't forget that PWAs are indexed in search engines, which is great for discoverability. For those who think of creating a PWA, we found a great article on the topic. Check the link in the description box to check it out. Despite all its advantages, a progressive web app has its major drawbacks. The main problem is the page loading speed. Developers are constrained by the browser's speed and the quality of the internet connection. Another issue is that PWA uses browser cache for memory storage. It is a browser-imposed limitation that needs some engineering around if an intended app consumes many memory resources. It is also a source of possible security issues. So, will PWA replace native apps? The answer is partially. Due to some inherent limitations, PWAs have a hard time replacing native in some niches. Let's consider some of these limitations. Offline functionality is one of them. It is okay for small apps, but for bigger ones, cache limitations might come into play fast. Another point is an issue with user experience connected to inherent network latency problems. That is paramount for mobile games, for example. UI is one more limitation to consider. You can do more with it on native apps, plain and simple. To top it off, native applications are better at utilizing resources and features of an intended device. Before you make a final choice between a PWA or native development, you need to analyze your goals and determine the functionality you'd like to offer to the end user. Do you have an app idea in mind? Contact the Jelvix team to discuss your future solutions with experts. Find all the links in the description box. Thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel, and always stay tuned.